Hello, everyone, and welcome along to this uh, live webinar. Uh, and today we are very excited uh, to introduce you with the new Tenants app. And this is the main purpose of this webinar, to show you around how you can use it and how you can uh, invite your tenants to their own uh, tenant dashboard. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe to our, our YouTube channel to get more relevant content. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to um, put them on the chat and we will answer um, as we go if it's relevant. And if not, we'll have a session for questions and answers um, in the end. Um, and let's first go over the agenda of uh, today. So we'll start with the very brief overview about the Landlord platform. Then we'll show you how you can set up a prospect tenant, how you can generate tenancy agreement. Um, then we'll show you how the platform can create for you a payment schedule. Then how you can invite your tenants to their own dashboard. Um, by that, you can share mandatory documents um, with your tenants that will be shown on their own dashboard. Um, then how your tenants can um, report maintenance issues and how you can uh, watch them on your landlord account um, and also how to get reminders on payment, uh, rent payment overdue and also what actions you can take. And of course, we'll show you also um, the dashboard of the tenants so you can see how it uh, looks like. Um, so... Uh, Sarel will put on the chat some links. So if you haven't uh, subscribed yet to Landlord, um, a link to uh, register and um, also um, links to schedule demo with us. Uh, and for this webinar, we are running um, a promotion for our premium plan, uh, 60 day free for our premium plan. So Sarel will put the coupon on the chat so you can use it and start your uh, trial. Uh, premium plan basically uh, will help you to do some more with landlord and um, basically some extras on top of the basic plan. So I will start now with a high level overview about uh, the platform. The setting of you see the, now the app, Sarel, just in case. Yes. All right, perfect, okay. So, so Leno basically has three main sections. Uh, one is invest. And this part is for uh, active property investors that want to grow the property business or even for new business just want to get started. So here you can find the sourcing um, section. And basically here you can find properties that are now up for sale. So Then the auction tab. So here you can find the auction lots from the upcoming uh, um, online auctions from uh, auction houses all around the UK. So you can see the list, but you can also use uh, the different filters by an auction house, guide price, number of bedrooms, property type, and more. In the property list section, you can find uh, property by category. And we also actually open a new tab just for repossessed properties. What you need to do is just to type the address and then select the radius that you want to see properties around. Um, uh, it takes a few seconds and then you will see uh, the properties that are now up for sale that under the category repossessed uh, properties. In the meantime, I will show you like the sourcing alerts. The sourcing alerts will allow you so yeah, so here you can see all the repossessed properties. If you want to get more uh, information, just click on go to property page. It will take you to the right move page of the property. Sourcing alerts will allow you to define alerts. This is part of our premium plan, by, by the way, sourcing alerts. So you can add properties to your watch list by just clicking on this icon. And then on the sourcing alerts, you can get alerts for 
uh, properties that your price will increase, decrease, like we'll get the email notification for that, auction date reminders, and you can also receive new properties that are now uh, new in our platform based on certain criteria that you can define here. So you can define address, radius, price, starting price, uh, max price, types, and more. So it's very valuable if you want to keep track and be proactive um, in your sourcing efforts. Uh, then we have the deal analyzer. We have a rental deal analyzer. And, and also a deal analyzer for flip projects. You just need to type in the purchase price and the expected monthly rent and the platform will calculate for you the metrics for the first short term and for the long term. And starting this point, you just need to tweak the data, play with the numbers, and then you can also generate nice report uh, with our premium plan. You can also export it to um, a PDF and share with others. And you can also share this analysis with others uh, via their emails. And the last thing I will show you in this section is the postcode information tab, which will allow you to explore postcodes in terms of different uh, metrics, the 5 capital growth, property demand in the area, some statistics about crime. Let me select a different one, one second. So you can see what happens in this postcode in the last five years and what is the current situation in terms of property demand, statistics about crime, rental demand, price per square foot, some statistics about demographics. In the basic plan, you have uh, three searches per month, but on the premium plan, you have unlimited. The premium plan, as I mentioned, you have now the promotion for 60 day free trial, uh, and then it's 99 pounds per year or 12 pounds per month. Uh, so you can do unlimited postcode information searches with the premium plan. So this is the invest part of the platform. The second part is the manage. And I will just briefly go over it, over it because basically we will focus on this section in the webinar. My portfolio is the place to manage all of your properties in one place. You can manage more than one owner, apply filters, create different views. My tenants is the place to manage your tenants and tenancies, payment schedule to track your payments, uh, rent collection, um, maintenance reports. This is something new related to the tenants app. So here you can receive a maintenance reports from your tenants and uh, basically uh, take care of them. The cash flow section, this is the place to manage your income and expenses over time. Um, and the best way is to do it from the transactions page. And here you can link your bank account with our premium plan or import a file, or you can add transactions manually. You can scan receipts. Uh, so it's very valuable to manage all of your transactions here, allocating to the relevant properties. If it's a rent to the relevant tenant and by that track your rent collection, then you can generate reports, PNL reports, uh, expenses breakdown report, uh, tax report, and more. So this is basically the manage section. The finance section is the place to find opportunities for mortgage, remortgage. And here basically we do it based on your profile. So the engine analyze the profile of the user and based on that we'll match the user uh, with uh, a mortgage, buy to let mortgage products uh, from buy to let lenders and uh, you can again choose who is who are the applicants for this application if it's a company application then you will probably see different rates uh, so it's also very valuable and you can use our digital lender uh, to submit application or at least to review your mortgage illustration online in a few clicks and then usually it takes a few hours, but up to 24 hours. 
you will receive your mortgage illustration, you can review it online, and then you can uh, proceed to the next steps, basically until you submit the application to the lender, and then you can also track the steps with the lender um, until completion. Bridging Finance, we act as a lender. So basically uh, your landlord can help you with uh, financing uh, a property that uh, is not ready to get a mortgage. Uh, and again, it's an online questionnaire. You receive um, an online application to track your application online. You can upload all the relevant documents online and also of course be in touch with the team uh, when you apply. So this is the finance section of the platform. And this was basically in 10 minutes, a high level overview about landlord. Uh, and now let's start with uh, uh, the next topic of the agenda. So the main purpose of this um, webinar is to speak about the tenants app. The first step is uh, to um, create a prospect tenant. And for this exercise, I actually want to um, start a new account just to show you everything from scratch. So so for new users, you can use this uh, link that Sarel put in the chat with the promotion code of September 60 day. Um, so let's start. We create a um, fake user. Okay, so this is the way to create a new account. Click proceed. Second, when you sign up, you will receive uh, uh, this pop-up to activate your 60 day free trial. I will not do it now. Um, and the first step is to um, define and basically set up my first property. So landlord, as you can see, you have uh, many sections. We keep more than 150 different data items on each property, but there are no mandatory fields. So you can just start with uh, typing some of the details and then tweak and add more after that. You can add your buy to let properties, but also your main residence. Uh, so let's start with typing in address, the purchase price, current property value, which you can use online valuation uh, for your property um, you will use it's basically indicative value yes it's not 100 accurate but it's definitely indication about the value of this property and the basic plan you have three property value estimations per month um, but on the premium plan you get unlimited search uh, estimations um, purchase date and the rental income of course, you can add the ownership details, the mortgage information and others, but for this webinar, I don't need this. So I'll just create the property with this uh, uh, details. Now the next step is to add tenant. So I click tenant and I will start with adding prospect tenant. So let's say that are now basically um, advertise my property um, to let um, and I starting to receive applications so I can add tenants here can allocate it to a property and save it um, I can update the details of the tenant and then I can also uh, perform a tenant referencing uh, check. With our premium plan, you get five tenant referencing uh, reports for free. Um, and let's say that now I found my tenant. I want to generate an AST for this tenant and this is the next topic, how to generate a tenancy agreement. So I click 
generate AST, or I can just over over the tenant row. Ah, yeah, I need actually a tenant for that, but we let it also for the prospect. So let's let's click on generate AST. Okay, so the first step I need to create, basically I need to change this tenant to be an active tenant. Okay, so let's say I already agreed with him on a tenancy period. So I put the start date of the tenancy period, the end date, rent payment, uh, the frequency of the payments, the starting date of the payments, if it's a rolling tenancy, yes or no, when I want to review, the rent and then i will get notification to review the rent some details about the guarantor deposit deposit amount and other uh, details i click save then the platform will create for me the payment schedule so the platform will use the details that you entered based on the tenancy started the end date and the rent payment uh, it will create the payment schedule for you, for this tenant, and you can change it by clicking edit. You can change the date or any other field. You can delete row and add rows. And if you are happy with that, you can just approve it or approve an invite tenant. For this exercise, I will just click approve because I want to generate the AST for this tenant. So now we'll hover over the tenant row, click on the three dots, generate AST. Already selected the tenant, click next. By the way, AST, we have also one for in the basic plan. If you want to generate more than one AST per month, then you need to upgrade to the premium plan. Um, the platform will take the details from uh, the tenant that you already um, entered before. So the start date, the end date of the tenancy, click next, uh, the frequency of the payment, the amount, deposit, a uh, rent review. If you want to add the section for rent review, you can skip it if, if you don't want. If you want to add witnesses or not, and then the platform will create a draft agreement for you. And the nice thing with this feature is that you can click on manage sections and then you can just change the text of each section. And if the section is not dynamic and with no dynamic fields, then it can also uh, be stored for the next time. And you can also add sections. And when you add section, the platform will keep the section forever on your account. So next time it will be available for you and you can decide if you want to include it or not. And you can also uh, change the order of the sections. And you can decide if you want to include section or not. Then when you click next, the platform will generate the document with the new section with the changes that basically that you've made then you just need to download and save and then you have it on your uh, desktop next uh, development is to use e-signature uh, it's not ready yet but we are working on it so now i generated the tenancy agreement for this tenant i will go back to uh, the my tenants page and now I want to invite my tenant to his uh, own uh, uh, tenant dashboard. Okay, but let's just go over the agenda to see if we uh, cover the items. So I basically showed now how you can generate AST, <clears throat> how the platform will create payment schedule for you and how you can edit and tweak it. Um, and now you, you, will, you will see how you can invite your tenants to their own uh, uh, dashboard. Um, all right, before that, let's see if we have uh, uh, questions. Um, I see, Sarah, that you answer, but perhaps we can answer for everyone. Hi, Jen. Sorry, I'm multitasking between my day job and watching. Sorry, yeah, we scheduled this webinar for 
middle of the day this time. It is only available on the premium version. So the tenants app is um, the, the tenancy agreement generation. You have one for free. And then if you want to generate more, then you need to upgrade to the premium plan, which is 99 pounds per year, 12 pounds per month. And you get in this webinar a benefit of 60 day free trial. The tenants app, um, I think it's the same. One tenant for free, but more than that, you need to upgrade to the premium plan. Um, okay, let's continue. How to invite my tenants to their own dashboard. So let's go back uh, to the platform. My tenants, I hover over the tenant row and click invite tenant. I can also do it from the main page, invite tenant, and then I just need to select the tenant that I want to invite. And I click continue. And this is very important. So this stage, this is the place to um, share documents with my tenant. Uh, in, term, in terms of compliance, you have to share some documents with your tenant. So this is a great way to do it in a digital way and everything also stored in the cloud. Uh, one thing before, if you manage your documents on my documents, so you can access it from the manage my documents, very valuable, uh, feature module, uh, you have five document uploads for free. And if you would want more, you need to upgrade uh, to the premium plan. Um, and basically here you can upload documents for each property, for each owner, and also uh, properties, uh, also documents um, to like a common level. So which document that you just want to, to upload in the packages, you can share, but for that you need to subscribe to the premium. You can share package packages of documents with others. It can be with your potential buyer, with your broker, uh, in a few clicks. Uh, so if you already uploaded, let's say the EPC right to rent gas safety certificate, then when you invite tenant, it will show instantly there. You don't need to upload them again. Um, but for this exercise, we will just upload them quickly. Okay, so let's invite the tenant. So if you have a welcome pack, just click upload and upload the welcome pack. Um, tenancy agreement, we already have like the one that we uh, generated, uh, inventory report, let's upload right, right to rent. Uh, EPC, yeah, safety certificate. All right, for this, I think it's it's okay, but you can upload any other document that you want to share with your tenant. With your tenant. Then I click continue. And here basically I need to decide how, um, if I want to receive payments, uh, in our payments for my tenants. So basically you can use a landlord to pay the rent or to set a standing order. And this is part of the premium plan if you want to use this feature. Um, have to say it's not live yet, but it's ready. We are just, we have like a waiting list. So if you want to join this waiting list, just click on it and click join the, wait, the waiting list. So we'll, we'll let you know once it's available. Uh, for now, we click not this time, and then my tenant will just see the payment schedule and get reminders when he needs to pay the rent. And of course, you will get reminders as well uh, with for payments uh, overdue or for, for payment uh, or for rent payments. Then I click continue, and I click send invitation to the tenant. This is the email. I click send. Okay, so now basically the tenant received uh, the uh, the invite, and I will show you now how it looks from uh, the tenant side. Um, so just wait thirty seconds.
Sorry, which uh, screen you see right now? I think I need to stop sharing and then share. My tenants. My tenants, okay. So let me share again. Okay, now you see the sign up uh, page? Yes. All right. All right, so the tenant will receive an email. It will automatically put the, the email of the tenant here. Just need to put his name, create, uh, um, set, setting up the password and click proceed. All right. Okay, so this is basically uh, the tenant's uh, dashboard. So you can see that he's now seeing like the outstanding amount for his rent, all the documents that we shared with him, which he can download or preview. You can see the details of the property details about the landlord. So if you put your phone number as well, you will see it here. Some details uh, and some details about the tenancy. On the payment schedule tab, you can see all the upcoming payments. And once uh, uh, we will uh, make it live, we will also be able to pay the rent from this page. And also, you can report um, maintenance issues. And basically, this is the next topic. So let's just verify that this is the next one. Yes. So let's talk about maintenance reports. So let's say that your tenant has now uh, an issue. You will click from his dashboard on report issue. You can select the type. As you can see, we have many uh, categories, um, but uh, of course, you can also add uh, others if uh, if if he couldn't find the issue here. Um, all right, then he need to put like a summary of the issue. Uh, description and you can upload um, so basically here you can upload pictures but also you can upload videos so you can actually uh, film the issue and upload the video and click submit and then you as a landlord will receive a notification with a new maintenance report and uh, the tenant can track the maintenance report on the maintenance reports tab. So now let's switch again to the landlord dashboard. All right. So you can see that in the alerts tab, but I also receive it to my email. I have a new maintenance report. I click view report. And I can see the report from my tenant with the picture. Yeah, I didn't put a description, but if I would, you would see it here and you can uh, reply here. And your tenant will receive a notification that you answered. Um, all the messaging uh, with your tenants, it's also important to keep them in a digital platform. So you can, after that, um, 
you have an audit of all the conversations, how you took care of uh, the issue, etc. cetera. Um, one of our future features is also to uh, invite a contractor to deal with it in one click. Um, it's still in the roadmap. We haven't started to work on it, but this is definitely something if you would want to see it, just uh, write it to us and uh, we will definitely uh, consider it. Um, okay, thanks, Jason. Yes, we will take it into account. Um, all right, so let's see um, the next item of uh, the this webinar. Okay, how to get reminders on rent payments uh, overdue. So again, here in the alerts, you will, so let's say that uh, your tenant has not paid the rent on time. You will receive this notification on the alerts sidebar. You will also receive this notification to your email or mobile push if you use our mobile app. Uh, you can control all the notifications from the settings page, by the way, um, in the email preferences. So here you can decide when you want to receive due date notifications. Um, and also if you want to receive uh, notifications on payment overdue or not. All right, so now what you can do. So. If it's a false alarm and your tenant actually paid the rent, which you just haven't tracked it. Uh, and you know, if you use our, if you link your bank account and you automate the rent payments, then it will be tracked automatically. So then you can just click track payment um, and then click, it will take you to the payment schedule tab, click edit and track that the payment was paid and the date. But let's say that it was not paid, then click add, send a reminder, and then you can send this message to your tenant and you can also tweak and change the text. Um, but of course, now with the tenants app, the tenant will receive also auto reminders, notifications uh, to his uh, tenant's dashboard, to his email. Also, if you use our mobile apps, uh, mobile notification, etc. So it makes it's quite streamlined the process to collect the rent and uh, manage uh, overdue uh, payments. All right. So tenants dashboard review. We actually reviewed already the tenants dashboard. So now um, let's have a, a session for uh, questions and answers. And I will just remind you again to uh, that uh, we are running now a promotion this webinar so you can upgrade to our premium plan you can do it from the setting the settings page or from the link uh, that Sarel sent on the chat uh, when you click upgrade just need to click add coupon and then add a coupon that you have in the chat click apply and then you will be able you will be um, eligible for the 60 day free trial you you do need to put your credit card now, but there are no charges now, uh, just by the end of the period, but you can cancel at any time. Okay, so, sorry, we do we have questions? Even if you answered, I think perhaps it's uh, um, Yes, we have some questions. All right. Uh, one second. Um, will landlord, Steve is asking, will landlord be able to add maintenance issues say arising from property inspection, even if tenant isn't signed up to the landlord platform? Um, so if the tenant needs to report the, the issue, basically it needs to sign up like in some way, because this is the only way to connect to the landlord uh, platform. So I think you, if, if it's an existing tenant, you will need to make sure that you receive invitation and he signed up and created um, uh, his tenant's dashboard. So yes, so yeah, I hope that I answered correctly. Um, Steve is asking, um, will be, we will be able to advertise our rental properties on right moving Zupla using landlord? So, 
Yeah, I have to say yes, but not now. But our vision is to provide the full uh, tenants package. So you will be able to advertise uh, the property for tenants, receive applications, um, and then perform the tenant referencing, which we you can do now, generate the AST, which you can do now, and also invite the tenant and manage the rent collection, which you can do now. And now also you can receive maintenance reports. So I think that the only part that we are missing now, actually two, two things, I would say like a signature for AST generation, for ASTs and uh, um, the property ad advertisement and managing all the applications, which is definitely in our vision and whatnot. All right. Uh, Jason is asking, how would I add, for example, British gas home services? I think he's talking about due dates, maybe. And uh... um, how would I add, for example, British gas home services? So, yeah, I don't like if so. If it's if it's related to the maintenance reports, if you can just. Um, elaborate more the question. If it's related to the, to the maintenance report, uh, then as I mentioned, next step will be to, in, to invite, like if you have their contact details, email address, and then they will need to sign up to a contractor dashboard so they can see all the reports and take care of them. Uh, then they can ask for more information from the tenant. They can actually schedule uh, to inspect the property, um, but, Again, this is the next uh, feature for that. Uh, okay, Trevor asks, can I load a deposit with one of the bodies through the platform when creating AST? Um, do you mean, Trevor, do you mean uh, like to use one of the scheme, deposit schemes through landlord and basically security, like basically manage the deposit um scheme on landlord it's not it's not available you need to take care of the de deposit and just track it on landlord right now um gram asking if you, if you can include your letting agent so in terms of inviting others to your landlord account uh, you can do it from the this uh, right menu then click team members and then you can invite other you know, people to share your landlord account with. The only problem with that is that if you invite your letting agent, you will also, um, we don't have permissions right now. So we will see the entire portfolio and the other data that you store on, on landlord. So you, you need to be careful with that. Um, it's a good idea perhaps to open just this section to your letting agent, and then you can basically, you can share the same dashboard. Um, so so yeah, but they basically it, it will help for for sure for landlords who manage the property by themselves. Um, but it's not a bad idea to see if we can also um, provide the letting agent with the dashboard. Um, Jason, you ask what requirements are required for the tenant to sign up? Email address or mobile number? Just email address. So you just need to when you create the tenant. Just make sure that you put his email address. And then when you invite the tenant, the platform will use this email address to send the invitation. And then when he clicks uh, proceed on the on the email, uh, on the sign-up page, it will take this email. And he have he basically he has to use this email address in order to sign up. So I hope I answer that. Um I think this is free for the tenant. Please confirm. Yes, that for the tenant, it's free. Um, are there any functions designed for non-signal let properties, HMOs, only the lets? So for HMOs or multi-unit properties, you can uh, definitely create uh, more than one tenant um, under one property. So basically, you just need... Uh, to create uh, another tenant. Uh, you can, uh, 
So it's the same property and perhaps you can name differently the units and then you can create. Um, but if you want one dashboard for two tenants, this is still feature that we need to develop. So let's say that you want uh, Aviram Shah and tenant two to share the same dashboard. Let's say they share this like one unit together. Um, this is not available, but you can just send invitation to both of them. Um, and basically they will see the same, the same thing, but it won't be actually the same account, but they will see the same documents. They will be able to, to report um, maintenance issues and they can be able to review their payment schedule. Okay, what is the requirement for family tenants who are moving into London from abroad and has no document to pass through agent uh, checklist? Um, not sure that I understand the question like related to this tenants app. So basically it sounds like uh, something that you need uh, to take care of with your agent. Basically landlord will help you just share documents that you have to share with your tenants, like right to rent, uh, gas safety certificate, EPC, welcome pack. Um, so yeah. Okay, Chris asks, hello, the new tenant app looks brilliant. If in the future one uh, was to stop using Lendl after a number of years, is there a possibility to export all the data files which have been uh, accrued over the years? Of course. So the way to export data go to so for instance, on my portfolio, you just need to click uh, on the export button and then you will receive all of your uh, data in a, to Excel spreadsheet. Um, as well for the My Tenants data. And uh, if you go to the profit and loss page, in this account, it's a new account, so it's empty, but you can also export all the data to Excel. Basically, all the historical uh, income and expense transactions for five years, you can export it to Excel. Um, and in terms of the documents, all the documents can be downloaded. Uh, so now it's one by one. Perhaps it's it's worth basically to download all feature. Sorry, market apps, no, that you can edit to the roadmap. But uh, the question is, yes, definitely you can export all the data that you manage on Lendl uh, instantly and quickly. Uh, okay, Chris asks, uh, does Lendl send notifications, emails to us Lendl's when the compliance documentation is due? For example, yes, for example, the yearly gas safety certificate. So, um, so first for each, for all the due dates, you want to let me change to a, demo, a different demo account. So I will start with the due dates. So when you define a new property, on each section, you will find the different uh, due dates. It can be your mortgage product expiry date. It can be your landlord insurance end date. Um, all right, uh, it can be the gas safety certificate renewal date, uh, the EICR, uh, path testing, energy performance, the EPC, so you can basically just put all the due dates and then the platform will create automatically for you an alert, a notification, you receive it to your email, to your uh, a dashboard and a mobile notification. Um, from the dashboard, by the way, there is a quick wizard for add missing due dates. So then you, it will just ask you to add all the missing due dates. So if you go to property by property and then you can Add the due date and the platform will create an alert for you. See that now it's 32. If I add another one, it will be 33. You see? So this is the way to create all the alerts. Uh, you can uh, see the alerts on the alerts sidebar. Also, you can watch them from the insights page. And here you can also um, take action. All right, so this is for that. 
And another notification, if you manage your personal documents on Landlord, uh, you should receive a notification uh, when a utility bill or bank statement, if you want to store them on Landlord, of course, everything's secured on the cloud. Then you will receive notification mm -hmm. when the document is expired and you basically need to update it. So you can keep also your uh, personal documents um, uh, accessible from the cloud on Landlord. And the nice thing is that you can easily create a package uh, if it can be for a potential buyer, for your mortgage broker, for insurance company. Uh, so in one click, you just need to select the property and then you can share all the documents that you want with this uh, person. Also some um, owner documents, personal documents. The platform will create a report for you with the documents and then you click share package you just need to put the email address and decide the length of uh, this link so basically it's for 12 hours it will be available 24 48 um, and you can also extend it so yes so this is regarding documents um, because we are running out of time, we just select uh, several questions. Um, all right, uh, we'll be will we be able to link credit card payments automatically on the transaction? section in the future like you uh, we can currently with the bank accounts um good question so now we work with uh for bank account we work with uh, applied which is uh, <clears throat> authorized by the fca for implementing the open banking and uh, uh, we are uh, approved by the fca to be agent of applied and yes, they, they have not only bank accounts, um, but we are considering to link a different provider for credit cards, but it's not uh, live yet. So currently you can link only your uh, bank accounts. Um, and for the other for all the other transactions, you can import file or edit manually or scan receipt. All right. Um, Okay, so let's summarize. So thank thank you all for joining. So if you have questions or feedback about the tenants app or you know suggestions, use this uh, chat box here to write us. Um, take advantage of the benefit of sixty day free of the premium plan. Just go to your settings page, click upgrade, and uh, put the coupon. All right, I'm I'm already on the premium plan this account, so I don't have this button. Or use the link that Sarel put uh, just yeah slash premium. Uh, Sarel just put it on the chat, and uh, start using the tenants app. And we look forward to hearing from you uh, to hear your feedback. Um, so thanks again for joining, and um, have a great rest of the day. Yes, Sarel. Um, I can uh, add if you guys want can schedule a 30 minutes demo with me to go over the platform if you have more questions, either if you're a new user, if you're already using our platform. Um, yeah, so it's the last link. Yeah, feel free to schedule a demo uh, with Sorel. Okay, thank you everyone. Thanks for joining. Great day, bye-bye.